The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hi, how you doing? I'm Sean Barrett, and this is Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that features local songwriters. These are my friends, they're your friends, they're your neighbors, and they're producing and writing some of the best music out there right now. So this is a show that's intended to spotlight them, get you out to their shows, pick up some of their music on CD, legally download their stuff, and just generally get to know the people who are producing fantastic music right here in Sudbury. And with me today, tonight, very, very glad to see Brent Walbrook. How are you doing, man? Oh, man, thanks so much for, for, for inviting me here. This is great. You're welcome. I'm really yeah. happy to have you here. Yeah. So, Brent, we've known each other for a long time. We met back when you were in the Easter Dogs. Yes. And uh, the Easter Dogs are a uh, semi-legendary um, alt-rock pop Pixies-esque ah. kind of uh, uh, group. But, I mean, seriously, I mean, people still remember the Easter Dogs album. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of local artists cut their teeth and started recording at Easter Island Studios that you were involved with. Absolutely. Um, and the songwriting from then to now is very different because now um, you're doing more Dust Bowl sort of hillbilly country. How did, how did that progression happen and, and what have you been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, 18 years? Well, you know, that in whole... In two minutes. Yeah, in two yeah. minutes. Yeah. That whole country music thing just kind of happened recently, basically, because it's just so much fun to play country tunes, mm -hmm. and it's fun to write. It's easy to write country stuff. You don't have to go ahead and go into this big, huge, you know, uh, uh, what do you really mean when you mean that lyric? It's just so straightforward, and it's just so honest. You know, there's... there's and it's fun. I guess that's the big thing about it, too. It's just honest, fun stuff, and it's easy to write. Mm -hmm. So you say you, you started that recently. Like, how long have you been writing these country songs that are coming out of you now? It's been about uh, probably two years now. Okay. Yeah. So. And in the in the in the interval between Easter Dogs and two years ago when you started country, have you kept writing? I mean, have you been you know actively writing tunes, recording songs, that kind of thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, right. it's never stopped. And I think once it's in you, uh, I, I haven't been very public with the whole thing. But once it's once that music writing bug is in you, it's so hard to stop yourself from doing it. So it's just. It's just, uh, it, it, when it's in you, it's in you. I guess that's what it comes down to. And stylistically, um, until you got to this country phase, was it, were you still writing a lot of that sort of, you know, power pop, rock type stuff, or, uh, or was, were you sort of all over the map? Oh, you know what? For me, it's all, it, it has always been all over the map. Mm -hmm. It's always been all over the map. So it's, it's whatever, whatever style kind of hits me in the heart, that's kind of what I go for. So, uh, I mean, the, the next album, hopefully, the, the next album, the next few years is going to be uh, another hard rocking album, I'm hoping, as well. Right on. So I don't want to be pigeonholed in any way, but right now, this is kind of the country thing is, is fun. It's easy to do, and as I said, it's, uh, it's, it's just kind of, uh, it's effortless almost to write this stuff. Wicked. So you're going to play a song for us now called The Motorcycle Song? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Here comes the sun again, caught a beam in my hand, a peace offering for you. Feeling really high, I think I'm gonna fly, but I don't know where I'm going to. Heading down the road, ain't got a heavy load, left that back at home. I can feel the breeze, the sweet life of ease rolling like a rolling stone. Can't make the hill, gotta pop another pill just to keep me moving on. Tank needs some lead, there's a truck stop ahead, fill her up and I'll be gone. Drove from FLA, I you going my way to the center of the sun? Climb on with me and we'll go to Tennessee, gonna promise you some fun. All right, sha la 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 la, when a thorn stuck in your side. Sha la 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 la, oh, get on your bike and ride. Sha la 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 la, this ain't a life tonight. Sha la 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 la, get on your bike and ride. Mm -hmm. 
Raced the train in the pouring rain in a nameless southern state. Chef hit his brakes, was more than he can take, then we had to sit and wait. We dropped her there, we said take care on her drunken misty night. She went on her way to East LA. La 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 just around the bend is a road that never ends, but it'll stop you on a dime. Keep the throttle wide, don't let it pass you by, gotta let each moment shine. Sha la 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 la, when a thorn's stuck in your side. Sha la 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 la, get on your bike and ride. Sha la 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 la, this ain't a life tonight. Sha la 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 la, get on your bike and ride. Thought I saw the piece of God riding on my hunter hog. Get on your bike and ride. That'll do her. So Brent, that was awesome. The motorcycle song. You said you co-wrote with that with somebody. Yeah, my buddy Rick Moggy. He's the first guy that I ever jammed with. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, he's about five years older, and he was uh, uh, he was just awesome because he's the only uh, guitar player in Lavac really that I could bond with. Yeah, and uh, and he still writes with me, not very often, but I'll tell you I've got two favorite songs, and one's called Dirty Old Town, and the other one's called Motorcycle Song, and he co-wrote on both. Right on. It's just uh, when we get together, it's like it's, it's as smooth as butter, man. When we start writing, we've well, got some history, right? And that helps with co-writing. Anybody does. else that you co-write with? Um, no, there no? isn't actually. No, 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 no. You're just uh, you're, you're you're sort of a solo act most of the time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not uh, not not your brother-in-law. You've never written a song with your brother-in-law. No, Chris but I've recorded Chris Leblanc. LeBlanc. You've recorded him. Yeah, Chris is awesome. Yeah, he's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, yeah. full disclosure, um, Brent and Chris Leblanc and I are uh, calling ourselves the Haybirds, and we're going to be playing at Westfest in Ottawa on June 9th. So uh, that's going to be a great show opening up for Stephen Page, uh, former Barely Naked Lady. Uh, yes, eh? that's right, Barely Naked Lady. I know, so <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, Me too, I can't really wait cool. for that. Right I can't on. wait for that. So listen, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the fact that, I mean, you know, part of your history uh, on the music scene uh, in this town was uh, being involved in East Island Studios. Now, you've, you've metamorphosized into your own uh, studio. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that, what it's called and yeah, what you're so, doing there. So East Island was an awesome place to, to work. It was a partnership with that. And now I've opened up another business called Artifact Media. So I'm doing a lot of this video stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. And I'm also doing a, a lot of band recording as well which has just been, it's been incredible. I'm actually tackling some senior citizens right now and getting these great older people to come in and record. So people in their 60s. And it's awesome recording these guys, especially because of the fact that uh, uh, it, it's still such a, a, an incredible, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's an incredible thing for them to actually have their own CD in their hands and, and to be able to hand that out to their, to their grandchildren and their family. Because it's like, look, I, I'm on a CD. And they never would have dreamed that they could have recorded. Yeah. And so to, to see that spark in their eyes when they actually hear themselves, you know, when I'm playing back from the computer system, it's just, it's, it's awesome. Well, you know what, that digital technology has been really the great equalizer too, right? Because, I mean, uh, it's true, before, you know, lots of guys, I mean, my dad, until he sang on my disc, had, had never, never really been recorded before, even though he played in bands for years. And, and yeah. I think because at one time you had to go into a studio, there was tape involved and there was, you know, it was such a, a much more complicated process. Hundreds of thousands right. of dollars. Yeah. I mean, you know, to get into that stuff, yeah. you're asked, and was he pretty happy? Was he pretty, Oh yeah. he, he must have been amazed right? at I mean, the whole thing. You've got, a, you've got a legacy now. So that's really cool that you're doing that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I wish you best of luck with that. Thank you. And uh, in Ottawa, you'd better be good, man. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I can't <laughs> wait. Thanks, Brent. <laughs> Thank you.